the big word if, if you're going to do this, then do this. If this happens, then do this. That little word, that two little word, if, changes a lot of stuff. Let's talk about that. If, 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 or GIF, not a sponsor. To talk about the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Good morning, beautiful people. It is Monday, Monday, Monday. Can you believe it? It's Monday already. Happy Monday. So, if is this little two-letter word that has a huge meaning because it can change directions. Actually, if you're <coughs> doing programming, if is a is a big way to change things in the computer. So, when we when we hear the word evil in the Bible, <clears throat> a lot of times people think, oh, well, that's like murder or stealing or, you know, a list of really big crimes. But really, evil is anything that goes against God. So, listen, when we gossip about people, we're like, oh, that's not murder. That's not, that's not like the big crimes. It's still evil because you're hurting someone's reputation. Even if it's true, when you hurt somebody's reputation, when you hurt somebody's, uh, you know, life through your gossip, it's still called gossip. Or, you know, we don't want to say the five big cuss words, but uh, we, we still say dumb or stupid or idiot or, you know, those kind of words. And those words are still evil. They're still describing something that God created. Now we can have stupid choices, but nobody themselves are stupid. So we have to understand this idea of evil. Evil is not just the, the, the top big crimes. Evil is anything going against God or not doing what God has told you to do. So in that definition, when we say, when, when they write Proverbs chapter 30, verse 32, it says this. If you have been foolish, which the whole Proverbs tells you what a fool does. If you've been foolish, exalting yourself, that's a foolish way to go that you're saying it's me, myself, and I. It's, it's my stuff. It's my knowledge. When God gave it to you all. If you have been foolish, exalting yourself, or if you have been devising evil. Now, how do we devise evil? Well, we, we start plotting in our mind, like, this is what I'm going to say to this person, or this is what I'm going to talk about. This is the lie that I'm going to make. This is the, the pencil I'm going to steal from my office. Devising, that means contemplating the decision to do evil, even to the mind. It says this, this is interesting. Like, we can be tempted and not sin. But once it comes out of our mouth, once we start doing those things, that's when it becomes sin. So, I love this. If you have been foolish, exalting yourself, or if you have been devising evil, put your hand on your mouth. Isn't that interesting that your mouth is the beginning of doing these things? Like, speaking out loud the words of what you're going to be doing evil. I mean, think about it. Most of your evil acts come from the mouth. I mean, the mouth can cut people down. The mouth can destroy people. The mouth can destroy nations. The mouth can destroy TikTok reputation or YouTube reputation. Uh, the mouth can get us in trouble in all sorts of ways. It can get other people in trouble. I mean, just think of the most, the, the, the most evil things, and typically it comes back to the mouth. So God's saying here, look, if you're devising, if you're, if you're foolish, stop it. Cover your mouth. Shut up. I mean, literally, that's, that's pretty much what he's saying. Shut your trap. Because we need to think of others first. Jesus, others, yourself. That's how it should go. And that's good wisdom. So my encouragement for you today is watch what you're saying, watch what you're devising, and watch that you're not being a fool.
I love you, Jesus loves you too. You have a great, what is it, Katie? Monday. Bye bye. Bye bye. You're loud. <laughs>